So it's 9.25, 2014 at 10.16 a.m. So I'm going to show you one more time. Angles. And how if everybody else has, has the ability to park their vehicle and freely move it in and out without any impediment, obstructions, delays, then so should I. So once again, you have all these vehicles, they can easily move out down this drive right here. So this car gets in, can, you know, do a little bit of maneuverings and then get out. Okay. This is the drive right here. So all of these vehicles come in from South Catalina and then they can just move forward and out. Okay. The majority of time, the white Prius is here and he parks it way in. This guy that park is in this vehicle, he actually parks as close to the liner over so it squeezes me in. This guy then has to park over and sometimes he'll park. When they know I'm going out, they'll squeeze the vehicle in. The guy in the Prius here will then come up, okay? So I'm blocked in. What we have here is no margin for error because this is actually going over this line right here. Okay, so what it does is it makes it hard for the car to come out. They think that it's easy, but you have to remember now the car is not just the car. You have this right here. This comes out another two to three inches and I have it on my side too. Okay, so that gives me even less room to come out because of this and because I have one over there. When you look at the angle from his vehicle to mine and you look at that and you look at mine, I have less than a couple inches to be able to back my car out. But also look at the note, how the car is not straight, it's parked at an angle, okay? When it's at an angle like that, you cannot back out straight. And then you have to remember, because of this grid bar right here, because of this grid bar right here, I have even less room because it brings it in even a couple more inches. So you have these rear view mirrors. So that now brings the vehicle out another three inches on each side. So that gives me even less room to come out. This guy is parked at an angle. So I couldn't even come out straight because number one, the rear view mirrors will touch. And number two, he's at an angle. I don't have any room to maneuver to the right to get the car out because you still have to get it out this side over here. Because I'm so blocked in over here, I can't get it out. If all these vehicles, all of these vehicles can come in and out without impediment, except for my vehicle, then nobody should be parking here because you're, it's discrimination to say, everybody has the free flow except for my vehicle. And now they're gonna make it, they think they're gonna make it worse. When I have on recording yesterday, no cars back here. I also have the owner and her son saying, no, two car, only two cars. And they came over here to harass and yell at me, belittle me in public setting when they should not have that car there to begin with. The bottom line is if all the other tenants who park their vehicles can free flow in and out, whether it's backing out into James E. Woods or moving out into South Catalina, but I can't, then we have a, we have a problem with dis discrimination, retaliatory harassment, because all these people say they don't want you here in this building. So therefore, the owner, property owner, along with these residents will come together to make it as inconvenient and hostile as possible. It's not as simple just backing out because you have to remember you have this here, which brings it out. And then you have mine over here that can't move because it's in. That means that I have even less room to come out. Less room because it comes out to this point and it comes out to that point. So now you're not talking about all this extra space that they think you have. You have even less room because of the rear view mirrors. They know it and so do I, but they're doing it because they wanna create provocation, they wanna create drama, and they're harassing. It's retaliatory hate crimes. California street terrorism is what is transpiring. So once again, here's an angle. You tell me how easy it would be for a car to get out with two rear view mirror, my rear view mirror and this guy's front rear view mirror. 
You can't. And now remember, you would still have to back it out and then you would have to try to move it forward. You don't have any room to move it because you're blocked in right here. So instead of saying they think it's so easy, now you look at it from the real perspective of someone trying to back their vehicle out. No, it's not. You have less than a, an inch or two to try to get your vehicle out. So once again, under discriminatory practices, if all other tenants who park can easily move in and out, okay, then that means that so should I. If I'm being obstructed, if I'm being impeded, if I'm being uh, uh, um, blocked, then I don't have the same access as every other person has. That's where the UNRU civil rights comes in. That's where the Bain Act comes in because these are orchestrated hate crimes and harassment. I'm done.